Hi, this is Pratik and welcome to Code Verify. In this video lesson, we'll learn about deleting duplicates from a linked list by using a hash table. This code has been taken from my previous tutorial where I showed you how to push in a linked list, append and then insert after and I also then printed the linked list. So if you're new to this tutorial, please go and watch my previous tutorial on linked list. Okay, so now let's understand the basic concept Suppose that we have this linked list and we want to identify the duplicates and then we have to delete those duplicates by using a hash table. So the first step would be to identify the length of the linked list here in this case it's 4 and then make a hash table containing some empty buckets. Here the number of empty buckets is 4 since the length of the linked list is 4. Now understand this that in Python we can implement hash table by using link sorry by using a list so you can implement hash table by using a list in python and that is a big advantage here and also these four empty buckets here are actually lists so this is a list inside a list data structure now the second step would be to put these datas inside this uh, inside this nodes in this linked list inside these empty buckets and in order to do that, we will be making use of hash key because that's how you can identify which bucket will be the data going to. For example, if we take the equation for the key to be data ampersand length, which means this is going to fetch as the reminder of uh, the data when it is divided by the length of this linked list. So for the first node, the data is 3. And when we put this data into this equation, we get 3 ampersand 4. And 3 ampersand 4 will get, give us the remainder as 3, which means the key is equal to 3. And this means that the third bucket inside this hash table, uh, in this third bucket, will the this data will get inserted. Similarly, we will be moving uh, further forward down this linked list and we will be taking the data like we took the data from the first node now we'll be taking the data from the second node and we'll pass it through the key equation and get the remainder and we will see in which bucket will is it trying to get into like for the second node uh, we move to the, this position and for this node the data is 3 and again 3 ampersand 4 is going to return 3 which means it will again try to enter into this bucket but this bucket already contains 3 which means now we will be able to get to know that yes that there is a collision so this is the basic concept of how to determine collision now once we get to know that there is a collision we got to remove this node from this linked list we will do that by using two pointers so first pointer I will say that it's L and the second pointer is actually will be a backward pointer which will be always at the back of L and we can name that as P. So in order to delete this node first we are going to get the reference of this node from the next that is stored here and we are going to assign it to P's next. So I can say that p dot next is equal to l dot next, which means our connection becomes like this. And this node here is not being referenced by any other node, which means during the runtime of this program, this node will automatically get flushed out. And also we will be changing, we will shifting our l to l dot next so that our l comes here. The same thing happened for this node also. It passes through this. Uh, key equation and 1 ampersand length is equal to 1 which means this data over here is gonna come to this empty bucket and now after this L shifts to the next position and P also shifts to the next position now same story goes for this node here the data is 4 it again passes through the key equation and it sees that the key comes out to be 4 ampersand 4 that is 0 so 4 comes in this empty bucket 
and finally when our error has reached to the end of the linked list we need to stop this entire process and our hash table is going to look like this so this is the entire process and now we're going to show you the code for it so in this code here we're going to add a new function here and i will say that uh, the new function is def delete dupe and remember the first thing we need to do is create a hash table and to create a hash table we need to find the length of the linked list so i am going to assign a variable called length is equal to zero because we do not know the length and we will be incrementing this length and we will finally making it come to the actual length of the linked list so to calculate the length we will be actually needing uh, to traverse the linked list from the first node up to the last node so for this purpose we got to take the help of our head so we gonna uh, say that l is equal to self dot head and we are going to take the reference of head to begin because remember that's how we traverse and now to traverse the linked list and to increase the length each time we move to the next node we gonna make use of a while loop and I'm gonna say while when and every time I move forward in this linked list I am gonna increase the length count by one and I am gonna shift my L variable by L dot next so that's how we move forward and remember that when our L has finally reached the end of the linked list then our L will finally become none and in that case we'll say if l is equal to none we will be breaking this while loop after this our second step would be to make an empty hash table containing equal number of buckets as that of the length of the new list so for that purpose i am going to declare the hash table as an empty list and as this is said this is going to be lists present inside a list so that's how a hash table is built in python so i am gonna make a list inside a list and for that purpose i need a for loop and i will say for i in list range length this is gonna generate a list which is of the size of four okay so if we have four nodes inside this linked list and if I say list arrange length then this will generate a list containing elements 0, 1, 2 and 3. And now in order to generate empty buckets inside this hash table I am going to say table.append this empty buckets. So we are done with building the hash table and the third step we need to do is to identify the duplicates in the linked list and uh, before that we need to collect data from the nodes of the linked list and put them into the empty hash buckets which means we need to traverse the linked list again so for again to traverse the linked list i am again gonna reassign l to self.head so that we can again start traversing from the beginning of the linked list so now again i am gonna make use of a while loop and i'm gonna say while l you can also say this as well l is not none uh, basically both mean the same so I will leave it as while L okay so while L I am gonna first find the key by making use of the equation key is equals to L dot data and percent length which is gonna give us the reminder remainder and then we are gonna check for collision and this is how we check for collision we're gonna compare the uh, Hash, inside the hash table there are empty buckets we're gonna compare the uh, buckets data and with that of the l dot data and if both are not similar so in that case there is no collision and in that case we're gonna say table key is equals to l dot data and remember that this means that the hash bucket is empty so there can be two conditions either the hash bucket is empty or there is a collision so this means that uh, the hash bucket is empty and when the hash bucket is empty the data there is no data present in the hash bucket and in that case since there is no data present in the hash bucket and therefore it will not match with that of l dot data and that's what we mean to express here okay so now let's move ahead 
Now our next step will be to design pointers which are priv equals to l and l equals to l dot next. So this previous is the backward pointer which I always mention and this l is the node for which we want to compare the duplicacy. This was the case when we could not find a duplicate node but if there is a duplicate node then in the else part we're gonna say else when the data present inside a bucket matches with that of the data of the node then we're gonna simply shift our previous next to else next and then we're gonna shift our l to point to l dot next and if possible just print the table of whenever this while loop runs so that we will be able to do step-by-step -step analysis when we run this program so now in our main i am gonna make an object of the class link list and then i am gonna push these three nodes and also i'm gonna append this node having data of four and now also we're gonna call our delete duper method and uh, first I'm gonna print the list to show you what is the actual link list gonna look like and then I'm gonna call the delete dupe and then again I'm gonna print the list to show you that duplicate entries in the link list has been deleted so if I run this program then this is the final output you see that this is the initial link list with duplicate keys these are the duplicate keys three and three and this is the final link list with removed duplicate nodes so these are the intermediate steps of the while loop you can see that first three came at this hash bucket and then again three tried to come at this hash bucket but our you know the algorithm just deleted the duplicate node at this step okay at this step the deletion occurred and then one got entered into there into here and then again four got entered here so this is similar to what i showed you here so this example exactly is this and this is the final output so i hope that you understood this video completely and if still you have any doubt then write that in the comment section below like and share this video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel thank you